Hey y'all, Dustin Schaefer here at The Keto Pro, and we're three weeks in. This is our third week starting this keto transformation. And I wanna create a little picture. This is really a transitional week. Um, some of you may be going, I feel awesome, I feel amazing. Some of you are going, I'm not losing weight fast enough. Some of you are going, I don't feel so good. Keep in mind, the ultimate goal here is elevating your ketone levels because that's about vitality and health. Um, what Expectations is such a big thing with the journey because too many people I've watched over the last 20 years go, well, you know, I'm not getting results. The keto thing didn't work for me. The reality is, is ketones are important for all humans and you want them elevated. Uh, and it's really about anti-aging and quality of life and brain function and metabolic function. That's, that's the recipe of health. When you get healthy, your body will transition and fat loss will become a bigger thing, but there's a transition period in here. So I like to say it's kind of like a vampire. Um, you're, you just got bit if you ever watch a vampire movie and you're going through this transition of being human to go into, into, into a vampire, that transition can be a little awkward for people. So the next few weeks, it can, it can be that transition. I'm gonna give you some tips to help you through that process. But once you become the vampire, you're like, I feel amazing, invincible and strong and confident. I uh, hope that didn't offend anybody, but that's my analogy of going into ketosis. So here's a couple tips that you got to keep in mind. Number one is if you're not feeling great, your probably hydration is off. So I have like a, I have a tool here that I love and I use all the time that we want to increase your hydration. So you have to increase your salt, sodium intake, your salt intake. I have real salt that I like to use uh, is one of my favorite salts I use. You have to, you have to, you can't, you can't do it the other way. If you're going low sodium and doing this, you're going to feel bad. You have to start increasing it. And you might be more than you need, so just be aware there's, I have a video uh, either somewhere on the screen here or down below that you're gonna wanna check out. Um, and that'll help you feel better, maybe overcome that keto flu that you may be noticing. Um, number two, biggest thing is that uh, people don't get their carbs down low enough and they started increasing their fat too quickly. Now, I don't want you to be afraid of fat. So what do I mean by that? Um, you might be reading keto blogs and going, oh, I'm gonna put butter on my ribeyes. Eh, let's not do that. Let's just start with the ribeye. Let's start with chicken thigh over chicken breast. Maybe have the skin on it, which I enjoy. Um, instead of having the lean chicken breast because you're not getting enough fat that way. Um, the other thing you can do is start using fattier fishes. Start putting butter or olive oil on your vegetables. It actually makes your vegetables really great and delicious anyway. So start enjoying that, but don't necessarily um, increase it too quickly, but just don't be afraid of fat. And the number three thing that I utilize now, I've been doing this for 20 years, the last five years, what I found is that most people, when you get to this third week, they're either in or they're out. They're gonna quit soon. You're almost already talking yourself out of this whole thing. Like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work for me. And you're coming up and justifying and have some excuses of why you're not getting results. That's when I recommend this. So I do recommend ketone supplementation. I only recommend one company. I will only stand behind one company because, well, we've done a lot of work to make it the best ever. So down below, you can get information on that. And this tool basically gives you the ketones. And then that way you don't go through this negative experience. You don't have to go through the transition phase. You just get the ketones in your system and then and you can adjust your diet a little bit more rapidly or slowly and you won't notice any of the negative effects and you'll get the results, the energy, the focus, the mood, the sleep, and the fat loss will start really quickly. So it's a tool I use, I think it's a great tool. So those are the three things that you're gonna wanna start to do. Hydrate more, not worry about fat, but also start being okay with implementing it into your system, and then utilize a supplement like Keto, Nat, the one that I recommend, so that you can get that benefits way quicker. So be patient, stay strong here. This is that transitional phase where you're gonna have to start dialing things in. Now week four, I'm gonna give you a way more black and white of what you're doing, what you shouldn't be doing to get the results you're looking for, y'all. So, see you week four. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. For the next video of the series, check out right here and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we send out the next video, you get notified and you can check out the latest on the keto journey. Cheers, y'all.